Hi guys, so today we're going to put an Essex flange in this new cylinder which didn't come with a secondary tapping because I was in a rush but Gled Hill have assured me that it won't invalidate the guarantee if I do it myself so here we go so we have this handy sticker on the side which I think I'm just going to use as my guide for cutting the foam and here we go I want the tapping quite high up the cylinder the reason is these people are complaining they've run out of hot water so those of you wondering, you wondering have checked inside and this isn't where the seam is I hope Just cut the foam with a little tiny saw. So there we go, probably a bit higher than we want to be, but no matter, that'll be okay. So, straight out of the box, we're going to use a 22 Essex flange for our secondary connection. So you've got the fit in, got your whole size instructions. So 22 millimeter, you only need an inch and a half arbor. And then you have the all important, wow, this bit of wire has got stiffer and even harder than normal. That's gonna be fun. So this particular Essex flange is the non-stop type. So you can, feed your pipe into the cylinder like that so helps in preventing air collection and what I'm going to do is make this up make this filling up before I put the flange in the cylinder so I'm just going to nip this up in the vise out the tank because it's a lot easier to get the olive to bite when it's not in the cylinder otherwise it could tear the fitting back out if you're not careful there we go so I'm just going to mark where I want the fitting I want to get it as high as possible but obviously carefully away from that seam about there looks good and then because my arbor bit isn't very sharp I'm just going to pre-drill the hole of a sharp bit and now we are committed so off we go Don't lose the bit, which is what we did. But luckily, because I haven't fitted this, I can tip the cylinder upside down and retrieve it. So, there we go. One inversion later, I've retrieved it. No harm done. Right, right, so sharp. <laughs> So fun part. So we thread a wire through 
like so. We put the wire in first. Fitting in. That inch and a half hole is sometimes a bit tighter than you'd like. It's in. Now we take the split washer, this one, delicately lower that in the hole. Importantly, thread the thread the shot on the wire. Then send it round. Make sure it goes on the fitting. Take your next rubber washer, thread that on the wire, put the fitting in, squeeze the rubber washer. Through, get the rubber washer on the fitting, and then pull it all up. Make sure it's all up tight. Next rubber washer, thread it on the outside. Next copper washer, thread that on. And your back nut, make sure you get it round the right way. Just to be like that. Do it up. Now you're safe. And now, in theory, you should just be able to pull this wire out. But this is where they make this wire stiffer and stiffer. And you really have to give it some welly to pull it out. I like to know where the centre of this hole is because obviously you've got a lot of movement. So what I do is get a sharpie, take it to the top highest, mark it over there furthest, mark it there furthest, keep moving it round on the furthest position around the hole. And then you've got a series of marks which enable you to position that fitting pretty much central on your hole. So it's got a good chance of sealing nice and evenly. Now, because I'm a bit of an old fuss pot, I often worry about this thread and the possibility of it. letting a bit of water in. So I always put a bit of silicon. Yeah, I know it's messy and you probably don't agree with me, but I always just put a bit of silicon sealer around there, just in case that thread chooses any water to seep through. So, centre of the hole. Just about there. Hand tight and you're happy with it. And now, I don't know if there's a special tool for this. I tend to just use a pair of pump pliers to finish it off and then just tighten it right up. Just get it adjustable on the end. I think that's tight enough. You've made your pipe and olive up, so I'll put some silicon on that, not boss white, I trust silicon, 
don't know, some of you won't. But as you can see now, this pipe goes some distance into the cylinder and that's going to stop air getting into your pump. Well, if you've got any comments, and you've probably got some criticisms, leave them in the section below and I'll answer them or argue with you or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye bye.